Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Haltech Q&A, where we'll be answering a few of your questions that have been submitted to our Facebook page. Our first question today comes from Paul Aaron, and he asks, I bought a car with a Sport 2000 already installed, but it's locked. How do I unlock it? Well, Paul, if you've plugged the USB cable into your Sport 2000, gone online, and it's asking for a password, that password's been set by whoever tuned the car. Now that tuner could have set a password for a bunch of different reasons. Typically it's for warranty purposes, so that the tuner can be sure that no one goes in and adjusts the tune and then has any problems later on. You can erase the password in the ECU by loading a default map. Keep in mind that loading a default map will erase all settings and all mapping inside the ECU. So the car will need to be set up again and retuned. So because of this, it's a good idea to try and find the previous tuner of the car if it's possible. Give them a call. Often they'll be able to give you the password so that you can get the car up and running and get it to a different tuner or a new tuner in your area. Our next question comes from Tony Dens. And he asks, can I use a Sport 2000 on a GM LSX with drive-by-wire or do I need to upgrade to an Elite? Well, Tony, the bad news is that your Sport 2000 does not have drive-by-wire electronic throttle control, so you would need to upgrade to an Elite Series ECU. The good news is that the Elite Series ECU will plug straight into your Sport harness. Now, you do need to add a few extra pins to control the electronic throttle, and you do need to swap a few pins because there are some differences in the pinout between the Sport and the Elite. It's a fairly straightforward job. Your tuner will be able to do it really quickly and then you'll have an elite ECU. Our last question today comes from Sam Muffin. If I swap my motor for one with a different crank trigger, can I adjust the tune directly from a Haltech ECU? Sam, the good news is, yes, you can. Some other ECU manufacturers will get you to send the unit all the way back to the manufacturer in order to change the trigger type inside the box, then they'll send it back to you. With a Haltech ECU, we simply go online with the unit, go to the trigger setup page in the software, and just select whatever trigger type you've got on your new engine from the list of triggers provided. That way you've got no downtime, you can do it in your own time at home, and your engine will start, you'll be ready to race again. Well, that's all our questions for today. Thanks very much for submitting them. If you'd like to ask any questions, put them in the comments below, and we'll get to them just as soon as we can.